campus. Welcome back to On The Spot STEM. And today we're going to be looking at 2019 Amy 1 problem number two. And the question reads, Jen randomly chooses a number J from one, two, three, all the way to 1920. Bella then randomly chooses a number B from that same set distinct from J. The value of B minus J is at least two with a probability that can be expressed in the form M over N, where M and N are relatively prime positive integers. Find M plus M. The natural way to go on with this problem is doing casework. Let's see what the possibilities of B are given that Jen picks one on her first turn. We said that when J equals one, we have the possibilities of B equaling anything from three all the way to 20. Since this is at least two and not greater than two, three minus one is two, four minus one is greater than two, so on and so forth. The highest number Bella can pick is 20. Now we do the same case with j equals 2. With j equals 2, we see that we have one less case because we cannot have Bella picking 3 because 3 minus 2 is 1, which is obviously not is not at least 2. This all goes on 20. Now we see a pattern here. Every time we add one number to j, we lose a possible number that we could have had for b that we had before. Thus, I can continue this pattern all the way down and see with j equals 17, in fact, the only two values that work are b equals 19 and b equals 20. And then with j equals 18, the only value that works is b equals 20. Notice that when I have, if Jen, Jen were to pick 19, then no number that Bella picks can work because 20 is the highest number she can pick and 20 minus 19 is not at least two. Thus, we can just sum all the possible combinations right here. What I see is that this first case of j equals one has 18 cases, which means j equals two has 17 cases, so on and so forth, that the very last case has one. So I basically need to find the sum of one plus two plus three all the way to 18. And as you know, that's n times n plus one divided by two. So that's 18 times 19 divided by two, which cancel the two and you get nine times 19. I'm gonna leave it in this formula multiplying out and you'll see why in a sec. Now here comes the trickiest part of the problem, which many people fail to understand or just fail to read. They silly mistake at this point. They fail to consider the word distinct here, which means that J and B literally can't be the same number. A lot of people made their denominator 20 times 20 because they didn't read the conditions that these two numbers have to be distinct. So for now, we're pretty much done with this problem. The probability on the top is 9 times 19 total cases that are desired, but the total is 20 times 19 because Jen has 20 ways to pick a number, but Bella has only 19 ways because Bella's number must be different from Jen's number. It's not 20 times 20, it's 20 times 19. And we see here that 19 is cancel, which is very nice. And 9 over 20, both numbers are relatively prime. So the answer is just 9 plus 20 in this case, which is 29. That's it to this problem. Please like, share this with your friends, and please subscribe for more content.